YouTube, your boy G. Then I'm back with the review. This time I have ZB03 Silver Arrow from Zeta Toys, part of their Chrono set. And here's the big old box. And you can see that right there. On the side, you got probably a shot of their Silver Bolt. On the back, you get part of the would be diorama. It's going to be built from all the boxes. On the top, you got Zeta Toys. I'm not going to show that. And right here, you got your jet, and off the box goes. And inside the box, you get your Silver Arrow Silver Bolt figure. And along with him, you get a bunch of accessories. You get all the Cabana pieces. And you get the collector's card. Same artwork from the box. You got the stats in the back. Come with the Cabana Torso piece. Here. Come with not one, but two Cabana Mode heads. One is the, um, this is more the um, Ocular Max slash, I say IDW, um, well, not IDW, but Dreamwave um, head. And this is the G1 head, which is, um, gives you a combined mode gun, which also transforms into Silver Bolt's gun. You take, open that up, take this out, and you have Silver Bolt's handgun. Combined mode feet. Uh, painted in a uh, matte red. Got some uh, silver paint right there on the sides and right there on the toe toes. Silver paint on the sides right there. And some molded detail on the bottom here. And I think this is spray painted because it's looking kind of faded right there. The one thing about them is their paint jobs and they could use an extra coat on all their paint. And get their two goodbye mode hands. And last but not least, get the instruction sheet. All right, on to the figure itself. We got Silver Bolt right here. He looks pretty much like Silver Bolt. Um, not really cartoon accurate, but he is accurate to the um, the source material of the Studio Ox. Um, one thing that doesn't make him cartoon accurate is that the chest is molded differently in the cartoon, and his shoulders are painted black with the white wings on top instead of white on white. But yeah. Nonetheless, he looks good. Nonetheless, uh, check him out. Get them hydraulic bit, um, not hydraulic bits, but transparent bits right there with some probably hydraulics underneath right there. But some molded detail underneath the transparent bits. Um, red paint, red paint, some black paint right there. Not right here. I don't know why. Must be a reading meaning for that. But he got his backpack back here. This one thing about this figure that the backpack. Is a good idea in concept, but it just doesn't hold. Uh, I'm supposed to have these two tabs. I'm supposed to go right here and put the sit in the slot right here. I'm supposed to catch it, but they always come undone uh, when you're like messing around with the figure or just like that. So that's one thing that's kind of annoying about the figure, one of the minuses. But other than that, take a look out. Translucent bits right there. Silver paint. Tampo decals right there. You see more of that in jet mode. Same thing on the back, like I said, right there. Stuff like that doesn't stay pegged in. Okay, it looks good. And like I said, show you his gun. Looks very G1. And he does hold in his hand that similar peg system that all the other Zeta bots have had. Just peg into his hand, close his fingers around it, and he holds it pretty well right, let's go ahead and get to articulation on this guy his head is on, head is on a ball joint um, but with the uh, molded in neck right there which is pretty good for me I prefer it be a hinged neck but hey whatever uh, can tilt side to side can look up about that much can look down about that much uh, left and right, I don't know if I showed that or not. Um, back at that um, light piping right there but it doesn't work because the eyes are painted uh, blue, not pretty much a dark blue, which it could have done a little bit lighter than that. I might take care of that myself. Um, shoulders do go out that, that much, and can go up a little bit further. They are on the extending hinge, um, mostly do the transformation, but you can get some good range of motion out of their shoulders. They do rotate all the way around, but the backpack does get in the way, and the backpack came undone. Uh, rotates at the upper bicep. He has um, two bicep 
articulation points. Must do a transformation so you can get more than 90 degrees out of that elbow bend if you choose to. Uh, nice ratchets on both of those bends. Uh, articulated fingers, the same as before. All the other figures um, articulates one, two places on the fingers. They got, and the thumb is on a ball joint that, that has no articulation whatsoever. It does have waist rotation. Can it hinder because the backpack? So you get about that much waist rotation, which is enough, I feel. Hip skirts, sides, and front can get a little bit more. Get about 90 degrees out of that leg lift. Bends at two points in the knee. Get more than nine degrees. We can bend it right there if you want. We can bend it right there, but it, you get the same amount of articulation out the knee no matter where you bend it at, at the two bend points at the knee. Can go out to the side. I want some ratchets. You get a little bit more than nine degrees out of that. And he can go backwards. His backpack just came all kinds of undone. Uh, he has no foot articulation, but has toe articulation. Toes can go down, uh, up a little bit slightly, and go side to side. And one thing you should do, um, you put him out the box, he has these little heel spurs right here, which don't seem like they do much, but they do help him stand. I found that out just a few minutes before I started shooting. So yeah, make sure you can you pull these out. They are tucked in way in here, and you need to pull them out. That's another issue right there. These these things like to come undone. This one does not sit flush for some reason. I guess there's too much plastic on this inside peg. Probably if I shade it down a little bit, it might sit a little bit more flush. But it doesn't sit as flush as I like it to. Like it too. Full size comparison, here he is next to MP10. And here he is next to team members I reviewed so far. And here he is next to his G1 self. All right, let's go ahead and get the transformation. Um, we're gonna do things a little bit different on this transformation. We're going to robot to combine mode, then to jet, because it's combine mode's on the way to the jet mode. So. First thing we're gonna do is go ahead and put his head into his chest. So what you're gonna do, close on neck put his head down and pop him back in like so easy peasy rotate his fist palms facing down move his thumbs so they are on the out like so like he's doing like a flying pose or he's like mixing on the a record put his hands to the fist the thumb up like so Open his forearm, then put his hand inside and close his back up. Make sure the tab is tabbed. Like so, same thing on the other side. Rotate. Thumb. Fist. Hand in. There we go. Arms out to the side. You're going to undo this backpack. If it hasn't undone itself. Lift this portion up to get it unhooked from the back right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring all this up to get it out the way. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to move these side screws out the way. Bring his legs all the way back, like so. We're gonna take them two heel spur pieces, and we're gonna flip them inside. We're gonna take his toes, we're gonna bring them down, rotate them around, and push them back up, like so. Same the other side, like that. Then we're gonna bend his knee again, but this time we're gonna bend the knee at the upper joint right here that's up in his um, thighs. And that's gonna go up like that. Up like that. 
and we're gonna bring this down this back down and the legs they're gonna tab together they're gonna tab together and they're also going to peg into these red posts right here and ports right there on the back of his legs but first we gotta make sure we on line this up with these holes that are inside his uh, shins so line that all that up together and peg his legs in together make sure you get this armature all the way down so it's not in the way and now you get now you should be able to make sure this is lined up also it's kind of hard doing this from behind the camera there we go At least it is for me. All right, you gonna get that all pegged in like that. And you peg these in right here. And there you go. Go ahead and bring his arms down. Like so, I'm pegging his shoulders. Fix the backpack up if you want. It's not going to come undone anyway. So, as long as it's out of our way for what we're about to do, that's all that matters. All right, you brought your arms down. You're going to bring them out to the side. Like this. Then you're going to rotate them so that the wings right here are facing downward. So, what you're going to do, you're going to rotate this one back. Okay, rotate that like so. So that this um, silver piece right here is pointing upward. So you're gonna bend right there. You're gonna bend right here again. Then you're gonna what you're gonna do is you're gonna tab this into this port on his leg. Bam, like so. Same thing on the other side. The instruction have you going all kinds of different ways, but this is probably a little bit easier. So rotate this down. Bend this back. Rotate the arm so that the, the biceps are now facing upward. There, bend it again, right there. Tab it in, bam. And there you have your combined mode for a silver bolt. No, no, it's a, it's a thing. It's, I guess you can call it the power core to the combiner because, um, he is pretty much just that because the whole this piece right here is pretty much the whole entire torso but you do need a silver belt to plug him in just for the stability I believe um, I think I mean you can you can complete superior and have silver belt just stand off to the side and something like that but I think he wouldn't be as stable as you would like him to be so Take that, it comes in the boxes, fold it up like so. And you undo that, undo this, like that. You're gonna bring this up, and you can plug in whichever head you choose. I'm gonna be using this head, and I'm gonna paint the visor blue eventually. Um, that. He brings his wings out. So you lift these lift these portions right here up so that the arm joints can plug in. Bring this down. And what he's going to do, he's going to slide in. His crotch right here has some grooves on the side, and there is a place where he can slide into right there. So he's gonna slide on in. Slide on in. Then you got these two notches right here that's why I put, told you put those heel spurs in and they are going to peg in on top of this right there I'm not going to go through all that just now but just give me an idea how that's supposed to go so that's it for this combined mode now on to the jet mode so what we're going to do is undo the arms just bring them up right now Undo his backpack. Unpeg that. Unpeg the legs. Bring this up. 
and bring that by, out the way. Bring it back up forward like we had it. Bring his legs back down. Straighten them back out. And what we're going to do is go ahead and open his legs up. Open his toes. Bring them back the way they're supposed to go. Alright, so open up this panel right here. A little stiff. And what you're going to do is fold this out. Flip these out. Flip. Flip. It's like a song. Flip. Flip. Remember that guy? Um, you're going to bring his legs down. His thighs down into his shins. Um, very much like your unique toy um, Abominus. And you're going to go ahead and bring this down. Go ahead and close this up. Right now, go ahead and bring this out also. And it should close like so. You're going to bring his toes up, his toe up, and bring it in like there. Same thing, other side. Bring this out. Bam. Collapse the leg. Bring the toe up. There we go. And I think we can peg this together. I don't think we need it to leave it unpegged for any reason. But yeah. Alright, now we're gonna work on the our front end. Ugh. Bring this skirt down. You're gonna undo this right here bring it down like so bring his arms back the way they were originally in bot mode and we're going to open his forearms back up and we're going to collapse the arms into the forearm like the other individual figures. Like so. And the forearms are going to tap into his shoulder right here. So, like so. Go ahead and bring this back up right now. Well, no, it goes down. It comes down. side and I believe this pegs in to the side of his leg again like so and there's a big mess right now then we're going to flip this over this is going to peg into this hole right here. Like that. And this top portion right here is going to peg into right there. Get the line up. Same thing on the other side. Just got to put his hands back, his arms back the way they were originally. Open this up. Ugh. And the way. Fold this in. And close it back up. Rotate it so there. Bring it down until it lines up with the side. Oh, yeah, bring this down. Bring that down. Bring it in. Now it should line up the way it's supposed to.
There we go. Tab that in right there. Tab this in. Then you're gonna tab that in. And I forgot to bring this thing out. Bring it. And flip that out. That up. And these right here, they're going to go upward. Kind of. I think I did it wrong. There we go. Make sure you get that ratchet joint. It's all the way inside right here. Good. You can see the two sides and how I did it. It's a little confusing. But for the most part, this figure, all, all these figures so far have been pretty um, intuitive. I think that's what people like about them so much, about Zeta, period. Um, the transformations are not as complicated as some other third party and stuff. But I appreciate the complicated transformation. I can feel like get my money's worth. But at the same time, these figures are not really that expensive, especially the limb bots. Like sixty bucks each, and everything. So, all right, let me get that all situated back. Now we can start working on the front end. And what we can do, go ahead and get these two posts right there. They're gonna peg in right here. So, got that right there. I'm gonna take this. All this mess right here that keeps coming on tab, you're gonna go ahead and bring it back, back up to the front. We're gonna open up this right here. Bring the nose cone out, the jet. Close that back up. Bring these out the way. Bring that down like so. Then we're going to bring these two sides down. Out the back side of the jet, but before we do that, before we get kind of stuck, go ahead and undo these wings, untab them. Like so now we'll go ahead and bring them down and tab these two sides. Oh, bring this tail down, bring that down, make sure it's in slot. Go ahead and tab these two sides together, then. They post the peg in to the bottom right here. Go ahead and peg them in to the bottom. Peg all that in. Then you're going to peg the wings in. I'm not sure. These wings do go up and down like so. Um, mostly for combined mode, but you can adjust the wings however you see fit and how you like to figure the display. So, yeah, make sure they push up. So you line up with the rest of the jet. And I don't really think it is pegged. It's supposed to peg into right here, but the connection is not that great. Oh, the peg in. And also you bring this engine down like so. And it puts a peg in to right here. Also not good connection. Same thing on the other side. Peg in. Bring this down. To line up and peg in right there, and get yourself all situated. Go ahead and close this up. Could be that mercy, the mercy door on most planes and stuff. So make sure everything's all pegged in. Flip that up. You got your landing gear. Bam, bam, and bam. And there you have Superbolt transformed to his Concord jet mode. And as far as any other, it's a Concord jet, a transformer Concord jet, which is pretty hard to do, especially with the robot and everything like that. So it is a a jet with a robot hanging off the bottom of it. But I'm just thinking that it's just impossible to get a perfect Superbolt made. <laughs> you know, so I don't think it's ever going to happen. So yeah. It looks good though, nonetheless. 
looks great lots of details same stuff from the other jets got all the dangers and one and no step and all that stuff like that the windows on the side are painted silver and some translucent up in the cockpit and all those windows in the cockpit are translucent you got this little um, mission cyber right there because he was a um, carrier jet or carrier air uh, space shuttle on Cybertron so uh, I'm guessing that's probably something to do with that and here he is next to a Tinkara uh, seeker mode okay y'all there you have it um, I think it feels pretty great pretty great um, only problems I have with it is the backpack obviously you know um, that's about it I mean the backpack I mean it's, it's a good figure and especially I mean the backpack can be annoying to those of you who like to fill with your figures and stuff like that but if, it's, if you just want to put it on the shelf on a, behind some glass and just look at it it'll be fine because it's not going to fall just fall off by itself but if you mess around with it it falls off but yeah um like paint looks good i mean it's consistent <laughs> throughout all their figures and everything uh can use an extra coat of paint but i mean it looks good all the detail the molding detail and stuff like that the translucent um bits work very well on this guy i wouldn't say he's told he's not g1 accurate but he's close enough and everything and he can't work in a uh, g1 masterpiece collection because he does have that look so I guess you can say a little bit stylized but they very minute it's mostly the chest is different and the shoulders but other than that man it's a good figure pick them up individually if you just want a silver boat for your collection or you just end up with a combined mode it's like it's going to be a pretty sturdy combined mode so yeah alright y'all it's been me Jita thank y'all for watching stay tuned for more reviews and I'll see y'all next time Peace.